Montejo de Flamengo in Rio, right behind me here. But that's not where we're going, gonna go today. Today, we're gonna take a boat trip over here on the other side. So today, I'm gonna see Rio from the sea. This is one of my favorite things to do because Rio is just so beautiful from the sea. So our ride arrived. So now we're leaving now Marina de Gloria and uh, going out in Guanabara Bay. We're gonna pass by some spectacular places here in Rio. Wow, look at this airplane now that's coming in there right ab above us. place where they were uh, checking all the uh, the customs, the taxes of the gold that were going in and out of, uh, of Rio. Check out another airplane. Where is it? Where is it? This here? This here. Wow, that airplane went so low. It was so fun. You could just feel it right over. Because the airport is so close to here, so I mean the, the plane, the planes keep coming out and in all the time here. Check it out here now, uh, Ilia Fiscal. So this bridge right here, the Niteroi Bridge, which is 14 kilometers long, and it connects Rio de Janeiro on one end and then Niteroi on the other end. It's, uh, it's like a bridge where the people of Niteroi use it a lot to go into Rio to work during the day and they can even take the boat back. There's a boat transport also between Rio and Niteroi. But we're gonna be passing by here now. We're gonna go along the bridge, going over to Niteroi, pass, pass by some of the beach areas there. Uh, Niteroi also has very nice beaches. Niteroi is also famous for all the Neymar buildings. The idea of Neymar to put several of his buildings here was because he felt that this was the right angle to see the beauty of Rio. This was where you could really see the whole beauty and several of the, the landmarks from one single angle, like Christ, the Tijuca Peak, uh, Sugarloaf, the beaches. So that's why he put uh, his buildings here. And uh, yeah, I, I totally agree. It was, it's so, such a fantastic idea to see Rio from this angle. So I really recommend when you come to Rio, also experience Rio from the sea because this is really where you can really appreciate the real beauty of Rio and you, can, you get a better grip of how Rio is located, you know, when you see it from, from a distance from the sea. You can really start to see, oh, there are these beaches, there, there is uh, Sugarloaf, there is Christ. You kind, of get, you kind of get an orientation of the city, how the city is laid out and much better. So do a boat trip, uh, come, come take, a, take a tour here with Saveiros, uh, they do this, this tour that I just did, really nice tour or some other tour. Uh, but yeah, see Rio from the sea when you, when you come here. Beleza! Wait, wait, I almost turned off the camera, but you gotta see this one, another one coming. <laughs> 